All right, guys, how's it going? And welcome to Litchfield City FC. Uh, we are here for Burton Albion Ladies' final game of the season uh, against Sporting Calcer. Um, in the reverse fixture between these two sides, there were some really late scenes uh, for the Brewers ladies, and uh, they did just, just uh, squeeze past uh, Sporting Calcer. So it's probably going to be a relatively tough match of the Brewers ladies. Uh, like I said, their last match of the season. Uh, a, f a first season at this level, uh, should I add, and uh, a season where they've done really well. Uh, most people, uh, ca they came up to this division, most people expecting them uh, to maybe finish towards the bottom uh, half of the table, but they've actually pushed towards the top. And although there have been out and out winners in this league for quite a while, uh, the Bruce Ladies are currently sitting second going into this game, uh, although they could be overtaken uh, if they do only draw or get beaten by the Sporting Council side. But there's some massive teams in this league as well with uh, really big budgets compared to Burton Albion ladies, of course, like Sheffield United. Uh, they're actually the team in third who will be looking to uh, get ahead of Burton Albion ladies and uh, get that second place. Uh, but yeah, really, really nice day for football. Uh, the sun is out and uh, hopefully it's going to be a good game. I'm going to make a score prediction and I will go for a... 3-1 Burton Albion ladies win um, but yeah we'll just see how it goes really a uh, really nice day out hopefully and uh, be great if we could get uh, well if Burton Albion ladies could get the win uh, to end their season on a high uh, so we'll see you guys when the teams come out come on you brewers So more. We're in a very fortunate position today that it's in our hands to finish where we are. That's what we want to do. If at any point we are behind you enough, Kane and Jack, and hopefully you, you've started to trust each other more and more. Okay guys, so it's half time now. It is Burton Albion Ladies 2, Sporting Calcet 2. Uh, not men, not much action in the first half actually, uh, apart from those uh, four goals coming. As Sporting Calcet took the lead, I think it was around 10 minutes in. Um, but uh, Bruce Ladies did very well to respond actually. Uh, good ball, a uh, nice goal by Sporting Calcet. Uh, but then uh, Bruce Ladies basically came straight down the other end. 
Uh, nice ball through Taylor Sutton, who slotted past the sporting Kalsa keeper. Uh, then there was an, there was uh, the first sort of quiet spell in the game, uh, where not much really happened. Uh, and then Sporting Castle retook the lead. A uh, bit of defensive miscommunication from the Brewers ladies. And uh, it was through to a one-on-one -on -one and a very nice finish into the bottom left corner. Uh, and then about five minutes before half-time, uh, Jordan Atkin brought the Brewers ladies level. With a very, very nice finish. So, um, yeah, I'll see my predictions, guys. I said 3-1. Um, I'm still back in the Brewers ladies to win this to be fair. I'll go with 3-2. I think there should be one more goal in the second half as uh, because of, apart from the uh, the goals that have been scored there hasn't actually been uh, many chances. Uh, so yeah we'll see you guys when the teams come back out for the second half. Come on you Brewers. Okay guys, so it's full time now, we are back home. And uh, this is the reason I've changed into my Burton shirt. This video, uh, well this clip is being recorded a little bit later, uh, as I'm uploading the video on Friday, uh, just because I've got exams all this week. Uh, so fingers crossed that I do well in them, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, really, really nice day out. Uh, Burton Albion ladies did go on to win 4-2. Uh, two second half goals, uh, ensuring the victory in that final game of the season. Uh, so the ladies started off really well, uh, put loads of pressure on the back line of um, crop that um, of sport. Uh, put loads of pressure on the back line of Sporting Kalsa, and uh, eventually uh, they did finally manage to break through. Hannah Baines uh, lashing home after uh, numerous efforts uh, from the Brewers, uh, and then pretty much straight after that. A really nice through ball from Bonser, uh, found Atkin, who had two defenders on a case, uh, but still with a really nice finish into the top left corner. Um, but yeah, really nice day out. Uh, probably a much better performance in the second half from the Brewers ladies. And uh, nice for them to go out uh, on their first ever season at this level, the FA Women's Premier League, uh, coming second. Really great achievement for them. Uh, so congratulations to everyone involved with the club, staff, players. And... Um, yeah, so uh, the next video is, uh, I've honestly, I have no clue when the next video will be. Uh, we could make a sign-in tomorrow and then it'll probably be up on Saturday. Um, sorry, they'll be up on Sunday. Uh, but yeah, it just depends really. I'll try and keep weekly videos coming out uh, if I can, even if it's just a few compilations. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time.